Yeah, the chance has come through. You know, I'm really looking forward to you know, uh, looking forward to try and please the fans and then you know settle settle down in Swansea. It's a three-year deal. Any particular reason why you chose Swansea? Because I know there are a couple of clubs chasing you, weren't there? Yeah, there was a few other clubs, but I thought you know everything about Swansea. You didn't really have to, to sell me the club as much because you know the, the great passing side and uh, and I looked you know last season and I think you know they they're sort of moving up. And the manager, Brendan Rodgers, must have played a factor as well. You work together at, at Chelsea with the youth and the academy. Yeah, obviously I knew the manager and uh, mm. Brendan's brought me in and, and he knows everything about me and you know I've worked with him when I was at youth team back at Chelsea and hopefully uh, I can come in and, and you know do well. You've had a bit of a roller coaster ride. I mean, you sort of started as a junior, wasn't it, with with uh, Bristol Rovers, your hometown club? Yeah, I was at Bristol Rovers, uh, mm. you know, since I was nine until uh, fifteen, and then I left to go to Chelsea. Now, uh, you know, I've been on loan a few times, and and that is nice to to, to get down and, and, and be settled. Yeah. Is it the fact, obviously, you spent a lot of time out on loan as well? Is it a case of now you needed a permanent base? Do you think to sort of to play regular? Yeah, definitely. I had the chance, obviously, to go on loan. But I thought it was my best interest to, to, to be permanent and you know and and be at a club where you think you know you're going to be here for the next you know few years than rather go there and, and be there for the next six months. So you know it's great that I can be here and settle in and and, and just make a warmth to everyone else. It must have been a fantastic experience. You must have learned a, a hell of a lot at Chelsea as well. Yeah, I think you know all the times I've been on on loan and, and been you know at Chelsea, you've, you just learn loads of experience and you meet different people, different players, and you you know you just you just learn from everyone. Yeah. And last season you spent on loan at Wigan with our old manager uh, Roberto Martinez. Uh, he must have told you a little bit about Swansea as well and the likes of Jason Scotland. Yeah, I spoke to uh, Jason Scotland more than the manager about the the club and stuff. But Jason said, you know, he, he didn't have a bad word to say about. It. He said he loved loved every minute of being down here, and you know, he said there's a great set of lads and and the fans are exceptional. So you know, I'm just really looking forward to it. He's a very quiet lad, isn't he, Jason? Yeah, <laughs> that's what everyone says. He's very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> So, what can the Swansea City fans expect from you? Do you think the sort of your attributes and uh, well, ho- well, hopefully I can come in and, and you know add a bit, you know I suppose uh, some flair, some some goals, or you know as much as I can please the fans as possible. But, you know I've seen there's a lot of class players down here, mm-hmm. and uh, you know they, they keep the ball you know exceptional. So, well I can come down and, and try and add a little bit different. Have you watched a lot of Swansea over the last few years? Then I kept a, a, a close eye, uh, you know, last season. Um, I just see, you know, I liked how they played, and and, and I think uh, that's why I thought it'd be great to sign it. Now, I know goals has been Swansea's problem last season. Um, you confident of sort of added, chipping a few in there? Yeah, it'd just be nice yeah. to to get back. Hopefully, you know, playing every week, and uh, you know, as I as I my confidence grows, then hopefully I can score, keep going, and, and score more goals, and just keep scoring. And we know you're due to meet the squad uh, tomorrow as well. Unfortunately, you won't be able to play in the Carling Cup because it's a permanent transfer, apparently. Yeah, it's quite you know unfortunate I can't play tomorrow. But you know, it'd be nice to to settle in, meet meet all the lads, and uh, you know, just go from there. Really, you fit in well as well, fitness wise. Yeah, I'm feeling fit. You yeah. know, I'm I'm just basically buzzing. I can't. I'm just excited that uh, mm. I can't ready to go. Going back to the Brendan Rodgers factor, how much do you sort of admire him uh, as a manager and a coach? Yeah, I think he's obviously a great man and obviously a great manager. You can't say a bad word about him. Um, you know, he's got very much knowledge of the game obviously working under Mourinho and, and going on a bit so I think it, it should be good him obviously knowing what he's going to do to the team I see you've got all your family down with you as well the whole clan <laughs> uh, I suppose just to find somewhere to live now and settle down yeah, yeah things, my family's come down they always support me every single time you know I go somewhere or go online or whatever but you know they're probably one of the best and uh, support the family and uh, now I can just find out see where I'm, I'm going to stay and, and, and just settle from there Welcome to Swansea and I'm sure you're going to be a, a massive hit. Okay, thank you very much.